Jose had possession, so it must have been considered both left the match, and I don't think either one has been available for this weekend. Here's Ricardo Pepe, his first touch. Cervenia, is Fierro gets the start for the first time in, the, in quite some time. In fact, it was late May when Carlos Fierro last adept observation about the difference in the match ball for the month of September for MLS. Just a little one just in the color scheme. Down for Dallas behind the play. It's Paxton Pomichol. The referee's going to stop play here and bring it back. Pomichol. Get a hand up in the face. I, I, Looks I missed, like he's I holding his it. nose here. And clearly it had to have been deemed a foul, Steve, because otherwise uh, Gonzalez would have let the play continue. San Jose had possession, so it must have been considered... A little little flick of the hand. Their first season, now this their third as an MLS head coach. As of course Almeida had a very successful back up the left side, not even trying to go to the right right now for FC Dallas. Tomasi, Ferreira, now Pomichol. Tried a little trick, tricky little flick down the left side to Pomichol. Running against Abacixis, and that deflects off of Fierro. That'll be a. So far, Dallas with 61% of the possession. For Ferreira to the middle. Che tried to lay a kick out. Of course, he also could have been asking for a yellow card. It's a good shield there. Patria sideline reporter Garrett Melser for an update. Hi, Garrett. Thanks, Owen. I appreciate that uh, compliment there. I'm standing right behind the FC Dallas bench. I've been keeping a close eye on Lucha Gonzalez. You know, and Steve, it's funny you mentioned about a couple minutes ago winning the second balls, the first and second balls, and it's almost right when you said that Lucci was stressing that exact same thing to Brandon Sylvania and Ima Tomasi. FC Dallas hasn't been good enough at that so far. Thursday, just like Freddie Vargas, who made his Venezuelan debut and the national, the senior national team. So that's what nice job by the FC Dallas center back. And he'll play it forward for Pomichol. A little bit of a stretched San Jose line if they can hurry. Pereira. Otherwise, tomasi has been good playing this first time on the left side. Pomichol, excellent backtrack. Took the ball away from up. Pressure by Wondolowski. He'll slide it forward. Pomichol. Looking at the overlap. Good space. Tomasi on his left to the middle. Pepe, first time effort. Blocked by Alanis. And this is a part of that battle so far tonight anyway. Pomichol, Cervania. Pressure by Jutin. Nice layoff to Pomichol. Numbers running through the middle. Pomichol to Obreon. At the top of the box, right footed effort, fought off by Marcin Kaus. Especially the passes now, he really puts Obreon in a good spot. And I don't know about you, but I'm wondering, could Obreon have maybe... He's worked his way into the starting lineup after being pretty patient coming out of his loan. St. Poulton, the Austrian side that he was loaned to after his little stint in the offseason at Bayern Munich. Pepe, the hold up play. Quinone got it forward for Obreon. To Ferreira, a little bit of space. Pomichol to his left. Rips it. Marcinkowski stings his palms, but he. Now, here's the, uh, the shot I was talking about. It's going to be a difficult shot for Paxton because he's moving, he's moving fast. He sees the pressure, but it's in a pretty good spot at about eight yards out. He hits it hard. U.S. national team saying as Pomichol gets knocked over by Judson. Another goal, able to hold off Minnesota United, 1-0. Pomichol, overlap from Tuomasi, left footer, into the box, knocked down, Ferrer. Oh, what a save with the right hand by JT Marson. Corner, as Alanis had to defend that one. Now this is Tuomasi just flashing the ball across. He misses Pepe, but a second booking of the half for FC Dallas. Tuomasi, Pomichol. This is for Mikasis. It in. Lucci Gonzalez? Yeah, I think they're, they're doing okay. They're winning their share. Emma Tomasi certainly is. Yeah, 47 touches uh, in the first half. That's that's high for a half for a, for an outside back. Officials. And for Justin Che, that is his second assist. His friend. I think FC Dallas is trying to waste time. Pomichol, nice ball, diagonal. Finds Tomasi in the box. Tried to lay it off for open. No surprise, this is a hotly contested match of two teams trying to clattered into, but Quinone got the ball. Pomichol, tight spot, gets out of it. Quinone with some space. Pomichol up the line, running with Jutsen behind him. Pomichol still going, goes down, and that's going to be a free kick foul awarded 
And a yellow card for Judson, who can't believe it. He's irate. Cervini tried to get the ball. And Alanis walked away with it for a moment just to try to slow things down. Well, remember, Judson had that warning a while ago. Pomichol knows exactly what he's doing here. He's just going to step in front. He's either going to be able to get away or he's going to draw the foul. Click because if he doesn't get that, Judson knocks it free to a wide open Espinosa. Still loose. Chofis with the back heel into traffic. This time Judson gets it free but doesn't find Espinosa. 21 is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich.